Well, grace and peace, everyone. Boy, it's so good to be back. I am so excited about talking about um, the um, dominant law of the kingdom, faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please them. But in the meanwhile, let's introduce, we are Believe in God's Word program, Hallelujah Broadcast. And this is where this is where we encourage people because God and his word is the final authority. And we have to individually make him that in our lives. We have to choose to let make God and his word the final authority in our personal lives. Um, <clears throat> and remember, this is a great year. I'm going to keep telling you, keep saying this is a great year. Well, he said he crowned our year with goodness, Psalm 65, 11, and our paths shall drop with fatness, protection and provision. That's what that really means, you know. And um, also our days are covered. Goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And that's in um, Psalm 23, 6 and 7. And then you see Psalm 118 talks about this is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. So God wants to give you a whole lot of things to be, to be exceedingly glad in. Amen. He did, but he wants these things manifested in our lives. And faith is what is going to aid us, what we're talking about in, in accessing these good things. Amen. So let's go ahead and um, say this with me. I believe God's word. God's word works, and it is working mightily in me and through me. God's word is the incorruptible, indestructible, infallible, irresistible, the ever-living sea word of God. Now, you know, I always give you this scripture where it says um, that... Uh, where God says, I will put my word in you, I'll put my word in your mouth, I'll cover you, I got you, in the shadow of my hand, that I might plant the heavens. He's going to plant the heavens through your words. But his word is himself too, you know. His word is himself. And um, he said, I'll plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion, we are his people. Thou art my people. Amen. So, we encourage people to speak the word and, and, and have mastery over yourself. I'm going to give you another scripture. The last time um, I spoke with you, Lord, was giving me the scripture to say this in this session. It's in James 3. The Bible says that if you're going to be a mature man, a perfect man, it would be because you learn how to use words right. You don't offend in word. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know how to brighten your tongue. And that's, that's, he said, that makes a mature man. You see, sometimes people say, well, I'm, 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 I'm three times seven and some change. I'm 21 or whatever. Age don't make you mature. Age makes you older, but not mature. The Bible says when we can keep our mouths, we can keep our life. Amen. We can say the right thing. So we want mastery. He says, if you want mastery, be not many masters in that same scripture. If you're going to be a master, you're going to have to master yourself with words. Amen. All right. That's some good teaching right there. Amen. Hey. All right. Anyway, let's. <laughs> I know I get funny sometimes. Now, we were talking about faith. We said faith is a dominant law of the kingdom. The Bible says that um, without faith is impossible to please him or fully agree with him. Now, you have to understand, God has given us faith to please him. We said faith must be connected to the word of God. This, uh, uh, Romans 10, 8 says, What saith it? The word is not me. Even in thy mouth, even in thy heart, we're going to talk about that, the word of faith which we proclaim or preach. Now, word of faith. Faith is... There's no such thing as blind faith. Never been. Well, I'm just going to try. That's not. That's, there's no such. Faith sees. The Bible says, seeing <laughs> that we have so great and precious. We, faith sees what we have. He sees it in the word. Hallelujah. 
So faith is not blind. The Bible says faith gives substance to what is hoped for. And in this series, we'll talk more about that. So faith has to see what that word hope is just simply what we're desiring from the word. Favorable expectation, favorable anticipation of what God's word says, of what he promised. That's why he's the God of all hope. Amen. So faith gives substance. It sees what we're desiring from the word. And it's always in and out. So we're going to deal with that down the line too. Now, uh, we did say it's a spiritual law that we use. And that law is what said is in our heart, in our mouth, and in our heart. The, the heart, we believe. And then we speak it. You see, a lot of people just speak it. They don't believe it. And they wonder why it's thorough. There's two halves to this. There is the believing. That word believe means to trust in. <laughs> See? And, and to rely on, you know. We, and we need to do that. You want to trust in him and rely upon him. See, and a lot of time what we do, other words, it, I'm, I, I'm, I'm trusting what God said. I'm not looking at any other source, but what, just what he said. And I want to believe in and, 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 and rely upon, see? I rely on God to make his word good. Amen? That's faith, people. So now, now, now let's get to this point because so it, the law is saying and believing, not just saying. I've had people say, well, I've been saying it. Yeah, but you don't believe it because if you believe it, you'll be trusting him. So you'll be trusting him. You'll be agreeing with him. You'll be uh, relying upon him. See? What he said, what he promised. And, and you have joy about it. <laughs> Amen. Now, in, uh, I guess what I want to do, the word of God. A lot of people say the word is not working. The reason why it's not working, number one, is because it's not mixed with faith. Remember, it's not Hebrews 4. Let's go to Hebrews 4, 1. Hebrews 4, 3. We might as well just go right there. You can take your time and read. Because I only do 15 minutes at a time. Because I want to give you nice little bites. And I want to go ahead and settle a few things. Um, in the book of Hebrews, Ben said, well, I'm quoting the word. I'm quoting the word. Okay, that's good. Just stop with quoting the word. But he says, um, The second verse, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them. Why didn't it profit them? Not being mixed with faith. Faith. And it, and, and it really would say mixed with the law of faith. What is the law of faith? In them that heard it, believing it and saying it. You, can, you, you can't operate in faith speaking contrary to the word of God. And you will mostly speak contrary to the word of God or, or, or never get that word of God working in your life until you start actually say, I believe the word. And see, a lot of people, and believing doesn't mean you, you're feeling better about saying it. No, 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 no. Believing simply means in spite of how you feel, you are agreeing with God. I am agreeing. I believe God. Like we always say, I believe God's word is working in me mightily and mightily in me and through me. See? And the way it gets through you is through your speaking. <laughs> Believing God's word. It did not profit them because it wasn't mixed with faith. Now, let's go. Now, now how do we get faith? The Bible says, Romans. 12. Let's go there real quick. Let's talk about how, how faith came. Uh, we know, and uh, the Bible says in Romans 10, 17, like I said, a lack of time, I can't explain a lot of things. It said, faith came by hearing, coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. So the moment you heard the word, faith came to you. And then you accept Jesus Christ as Lord. The Bible says, thou shalt confess with thy what? Mouth. See, that's the law. 
10th verse, Romans 10, 10, and believe, 10, 9, and believe with my heart, cardio, other words, believing with, 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 I'm not letting my mind talk me out of it. I'm not letting thoughts, other thoughts talk me out of it. And, and my, and my emotions is pointed toward him. And I believe, I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. It's the law of faith in operation. I believe with my heart, within myself, that God raised him from the dead. And from that point, supernatural happens. I'm saved. Now you have faith. God has given you his faith. Hallelujah. Now watch this. In um, what I said we were going. Oh, in um, Romans 12, it says, glory to God. Now you stay with me because I'm, I want to get this to you a little, a little. I want to be a little methodical here. I want to be methodical about this, getting this in steps for you, because the other Christians went around trying to get faith. He and the, the scripture specifically says, third verse: I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you to not to think more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, clearly, according to as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. He's talking to the Roman church. Every believer has noticed he didn't say a measure. He said the measure. So if I give you, if I was giving, if I had a soup line and I had one ladle and I dip this ladle into this soup. Everybody's getting the measure, the same measure, see? And people say, well, how much faith do I really have? Well, 1 John 5, 4 says, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcome the world, even our faith. So the faith, the measure you and I have is, is enough to make us world overcomers. Victory in every situation and circumstance. When we understand the law that we say is a, it's a, it's a, it's a established principle with predictable consequences of an act. The moment I activate my faith by believing it and speaking it, I activate the faith of God to bring victory or to manifest the victory I already have in Christ in our now. <laughs> now faith is. Somebody say amen. Now, we understand how are we saved? The Bible says, Ephesians 2.8, we're saved by grace through faith. Faith accesses what God has already done in Christ Jesus by grace. Because Jesus came in this earth full of grace and truth. And through his death, burial, resurrection, and he sat down at the God and sealed all of these wonderful uh, provisions, wonderful power and everything we need he sealed it for eternal, eternally sealed this through his own blood. So our faith accesses what God has already done by grace. That's why I tell people, get in the right zone. I'm not going to be healed. I'm not going to be this. I'm not going to be that. I am that. I am healed. I am prosperous. I am blessed. So we're going to talk about this right zone. Very, very important. Now, so we'll say by grace through faith. Romans 5, 2 says, faith gives us access or admission into this grace which we stand. Faith gives us access, I said earlier, to all of God's goodness. <laughs> so that's why we have faith. And it is not human faith. Everybody believes something. We'll talk about that in the next broadcast. This is the God kind of faith. 
Mark 11, 22 says, have faith in God or have the God kind of faith. God gave us his kind of faith. Uh, I know they, they tell me I, 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 I'm finished, but I got to just say this one thing because this is so important. I have to say this because I don't want to leave you like this. I won't leave you that way. Look, the Bible says in Galatians 2.20 that every believer has the faith of the Son of God. It says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ who liveth in me. And the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, the faith of his faith. You and I have his faith in us. Hallelujah. To access all that he did for us. And at the same time to manifest the victory that he purchased for us. That's what he said. I, I um, am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me, the life. The Zoe I live right now, I live by the faith of his faith, the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Now, I just had to finish that statement. I want you to start saying, I have the very faith of Jesus Christ. You do. You don't have a different faith. It's his faith we have. His faith, the same faith. We'll talk about that in the next one. You and I have the same faith to do the same thing and more than what he did when he walked this earth. If you can just, just lift a hand and say, hallelujah, hallelujah, I received that. These are things we have to receive, and you have to receive the word by faith. Well, we're gonna, we, I'm, I'm about a minute or two over, but I do want to um, just say we thank you. We appreciate you so much for being part of our broadcast, and we are also asking you to subscribe if you haven't, to share these things. I'm giving you scriptures to look at. I'm not giving you uh, my opinion. This is Believing God's Word broadcast, and we're going right to what the Word says. And the Bible says, great was the company of them that published it, that God gave the Word, and great was the company of them that published it. And we are asking you to be part of this great company and help us get this Word out. Glory to God. And we are uh, operation getting the Word out. So we'll see you in our next broadcast, and we are talking about the concept of of faith, the kingdom concepts of faith, and we're going to deal with so many different things. I'll probably be on this for, for a few more weeks because I really want to just let you know you have faith, what faith is, how, how faith operates, how to work your faith, how to operate in faith, and then, and then how faith came. It came by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Now you have faith, and let's take over in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>